Hey guys, salut mes amis, au calo gubar. This video is for new YouTubers or for people that just want some advice and I will focus on 5 tips for when you create your videos. Number 1. When you follow a YouTuber that you're subscribing, the first thing you notice is the YouTube thumbnail. Now believe it or not, the YouTube thumbnail makes a big difference and it's really important because it gives your followers an interest in watching your videos. Usually a good thumbnail is a thumbnail that is easy to read or understand. If you use uh, small text or strong colors for example, it becomes less clear of what you're trying to present. This is a good example. The text is large and it's easy to understand. Another tip is to use a custom font instead of the default ones you already have installed. There's many fonts that are more interesting to the human eye and they can help your thumbnails stand out. I've made a video where you can download my CSGO YouTube thumbnail pack if you want some good material. Number 2. The Intro Now you obviously want a intro to present your channel. And my biggest advice is to keep it short and simple. Nobody likes to watch a 20 second intro or even a 10 second intro. And your viewers will most likely skip the intro when that happens. A good intro can be done in Cinema 4D or After Effects. And you can find great free templates on YouTube. Find one that you like and make it short and simple. I usually don't recommend having a part of a song as your intro. It's better to have something unique because it's easier to remember your channel. Here's a bonus tip. You can start the video by making an introduction to the subject of the video. Then show your intro right after. This will make sure that everyone follows you from the beginning and it encourages people to continue watching. But you don't need to do this. In fact, you don't even need an intro, but I do recommend one because it helps create a bond with the viewer and makes them remember your channel a lot easier. Number 3. If you plan on talking in your video, make some notes or write a script. The more you prepare beforehand, the easier it will be to present your video and its subject. The video also becomes shorter and easier to follow. Many people make tutorials without rehearsing what they're gonna say and it ends up being a really long improvised video. So remember to take notes and prepare yourself for what you're gonna say. Another important tip is to record your voice and footage separately. You can record your video footage with Shadowplay and your audio footage with Audacity, for example. This will allow you to place your voice in the footage wherever it fits best and cut out the unnecessary parts which comes to tip number four edit the video so you're only showing what's interesting try to bring down as many seconds as possible from all the boring scenes here's an example i'm gonna shoot a watermelon you can edit the clip to for example start right before i spot the watermelon nobody wants to watch a video when all they see is a guy running around and nothing is happening so cut and edit the video to make it more interesting for the viewer. Number 5. If you plan on making more videos, make sure you notify your fans about it because this will make them stay and also subscribe to your content. Many YouTubers end their video with related videos which is a good way to do it. Others just end the video by saying, if you like the video you can subscribe, which is fine too. As long as you make sure that your viewers are understanding that you're gonna make more videos. So here's an example I made following my own tips. Hmm, this video looks interesting. Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to spot a watermelon. Wait, wrong game. Aha! So now you need to go through this jungle to find the watermelon. Hmm. Maxime! Aha! I'm gonna obviously end this video to say if you want to learn more about how to record your footage with good quality and rendering settings, you can check the video description for more info. Thanks for watching, this was Maxime, stay awesome and go bananas!